MDF doesn't want to bend. So this is the edge I want to keep clean. This will be the face edge. I'll just turn it this way up and then with a pen or pencil just mark a line all the way down that edge. If the curve starts here then make a mark onto the flat beyond where the curve starts. So that's flat, this is where the curve's starting. Now the tape measure every half inch or so I need to make a mark down this board continuing that line through and then generally all the way to the end so depending how acute the curve is then these need to be closer together every quarter of an inch because this is going to be a gradual curve they don't need to be as close Now, with a jigsaw, I want to just cut up to the line that I've put in, keeping the blade vertical all the time through the cut. Also, what I should say, don't just offer this jigsaw up to the MDF and then start it off. Start it off, bring it to the MDF and then keep it running between each cut. To save all that, I've already done one. So, this is the way I worked. Now, remember I said that the edge I wanted to keep is now underneath. Well, you can see why. Depending on which way the saw is working, you will get a rough edge. So if you notice now, come this way, this is my top, this is the face, how clean the cuts are. Now, you don't really want to come too close to the face, but as long as you don't break through the other side, that's okay. Now, this is my flat running to here, the curve, I can just 
put that bend in as I need it. Again, like I say, if it was more acute, not as gradual, then you would take out a bit more. And the same will apply for an internal. It will just bend the other way. Again, ensuring that your angle, where, where the curve starts, your cuts go onto the straight. If you don't, then what will tend to happen is this will split along the top. So if I try and force this from here round, I can hear it starting to go already. So I'll just tack it a bit more and there uh, it's splitting. I can hear it underneath. So always bring your cuts beyond and then that way you'll get a curve. It's basically the same idea as putting relief cuts in wallpaper.